Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I just came across a really useful uh, GitHub project for creating a test card in OBS Studio. Now a test card is, you've probably seen it on live TV when you're watching and you see this, this bar of colors come up and it can be used as well for testing a live stream. So if you're going to be starting a live stream now, I've talked about on this channel creating a testing YouTube channel and if I may be so immodest, I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, if you're doing a live stream and it's going out to like a bunch of people, like you're live streaming a wedding and there's gonna be a few hundred people watching, well, you want to make sure that everything is going to work before you hit the start stream button and then you discover that something is not working. So a test card is just useful to have something to fill the screen that you don't need to each time go and create some custom thing like we're just testing or something. And if you have a test channel or even on YouTube, your own channel, um, what you can do is just create a live stream, but set the privacy to either private or unlisted. And this is something I've done before. And to the best of my knowledge, there's no real way that people will just like stumble upon that. Especially if it's private, the URL is not accessible to anybody who doesn't have the URL. So if you're working on a live stream with two people, uh, both of you have Gmail accounts, well, you could just do a private stream and share it. Or if they're not on Gmail, you could do an unlisted stream and allow them to get into it. Now, let me just show you the, uh, the test card uh, app itself. So this is it. And it's just a GitHub project, but it's really quite uh, useful um, in terms of what it does. Uh, so let me, let me just uh, show, show how this works. There's a little bit of documentation now. It's uh, the Git, GitHub user is called Makigas or Makigas and it's called test card. And it works, you basically just put this URL into your OBS as, as just copy that URL and add it as a browser source. And there, he also shows how to pass in the, uh, there's a little banner thing that you can pass in. I'll show you exactly how all that works uh, just in a second here. So let me now go and bring you over to the other OBS that I have here. Um, and that's going to be on my other screen. So just, uh, just give, me, give, me, give me a moment as I, as I work on these uh, technical, technical details here. Um, so I'm going to now just demo try and actually get this running and maybe even do a real live stream. That would be challenging, but uh, potentially, potentially doable. Um, so let me just see here, get this back. Ah, I can see I've got some cropping on it. So sorry, sorry for this interruption in a video about doing live streams. Okay, so I've got that fixed. So now you can see me in my other OBS uh, studio here and I've got actually got the stream key set up for a test stream. And now what I can do is basically go in and repeat that process to get that, uh, to get that already set up here. Um, so I just go into my Linux browser and this is how to set it up. And now I just need that URL for the project. And that is as follows. So I'm just going to call it test card two. And now I just literally put in that URL here. Um, so I'm just going to put myself away for a second and so I'm just putting that here and now we're going to be getting, sorry, that was a wrong. So you don't want the GitHub project. You want what's linked to just off the side there. Makigas, there we go. Makigas.github.com uh, forward slash test card. So now let me just also change that to make it full screen for our resolution. And now here's the cool part, right? Uh, you don't need to hide the scroll bars because there aren't any scroll bars. You just put in forward slash question mark equals question mark banner, I think equals, there we go. Beautiful, Daniel desktop. And I'm just gonna put okay there. So now I've got, now this would be useful if you have, I guess a couple of people working on a live stream, maybe from a couple of different OBS studios and you want to make it abundantly clear uh, whose computer this test is coming off. So I'm just gonna see uh, if I can reuse that stream key. I don't think I'm going to be able to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new live stream here over in my, uh, over in my YouTube. Um, I'm gonna go for go live. I'm actually just gonna pause 
this video for a second as well, I go ahead and um, re-add that stream key. Okay, so I've just gone ahead there and uh, started the live stream. I was actually able to use the stream key again, which is excellent. And now you can see I'm in my YouTube studio. I've set this to unlisted as you can see, and I could easily change that to private. And my test card with Daniel desktop has been streaming there in full screen. And that's been streaming now for two minutes. The connection is good. Nobody's here because of the fact that it's unlisted. So I hope that nobody can discover this accidentally. And you can see there's a test card. So if you're trying to um, play around with diagnosing or just making sure that you've got everything working, you've got your sound sources working, the stream is working just fine, then you can use this test card. Really useful thing to have in my opinion. All you need is to remember or to keep that URL saved somewhere, set up a browser source in OBS, and uh, then whenever you need to uh, test a stream, you can just uh, put that source up there to full screen, uh, do a test stream or whatever, or you could even use this for an actual stream, show your uh, viewers, just maybe change the message to stream starting soon or something. Now you can of course do this, you can create your own custom overlay, graphic the stream is starting soon. So I think probably this would be more useful for uh, diagnostics privately than showing this to people. Uh, but it is really useful and I'll put a link in the description to this GitHub project. So hope that video was useful. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me about technology, OBS, Linux and uh, other topics, then feel free please to subscribe to this YouTube channel.